Okay, applications of electrolysis. Uh, as we discussed just now, uh, there are three applications that we need to know. The first one is uh, extractions of metals. Second one is ele electroplating. And the third one is uh, purifying metals. Uh. So these are the three uh, applications that you need to know. Okay, so let's start with the first one, uh, extractions of metals. Uh, this diagram shows us uh, the methods that we use uh, to extract metal. Okay, so we have the reactivity series. Uh. The methods that we use uh, is uh, according to the positions of the metals in uh, reactivity series okay so let's start from the lowest one eh? okay from here we can see that's the lowest uh, one is the au uh, this is gold eh? okay aurum or gold eh? another one is the silver okay these two metals eh? silver and gold they exist as metal in nature means that uh, we don't we don't need to extract them okay because the others uh, in nature they exist as compounds so we need to extract them from the compound but for gold and silver, uh, in nature, they are already exist as metal, so uh, no extractions needed. Okay, so these two, we don't need to extract it. Eh? And then for copper and mercury, now for these two metals, uh, we can extract it easily by just heating the compounds directly in air. You just heat them in air, then uh, automatically they will be separated from their compound. Eh? So these two are relatively easy eh? okay, compared to the others. I just heat them uh, directly in air. Okay. And then so we have uh, zinc, uh, iron, uh, tin, and lead. Okay. So these are the metals which is lower than carbon eh, in reactivity series. Okay. Lower than carbon in reactivity series. Now if they are lower than carbon in reactivity series, they can be displaced by carbon. Uh, we are going to learn displacement reactions in form 5 okay if you don't know uh, displacement reactions now it's fine okay so you just need to remember below or lower than carbon uh, in reactivity series they can be extracted by displacement reactions of carbons but in form 4 uh, this is not important okay this is important in form 5 okay if you don't know this now fine no problems okay now for those metals which are higher than carbon in reactivity series then we cannot use uh, displacement reactions by carbons okay we cannot use this place because they carbon can't displace uh, these metals so which is higher than uh, carbon in a uh, reactivity series so if we can't use displacement reactions then we use electrolysis okay we use electrolysis to extract these metals uh. so potassium sodium calcium Magnesium and aluminium, uh, they are extracted by using electrolysis. So this is one of the applications of electrolysis. Uh, okay, it is used to uh, extract metal, but not not all metals. Uh, okay, not all metal. Only those metals which is higher than carbon in reactivity series, uh, uh, they are extracted by using electrolysis. Now this may come up in exam, okay? So they will give you a few metals and then they, ask, they will ask you which one is extracted by using electrolysis in industry. Maybe they give you zinc, or iron, or aluminium. Eh? Uh, then you should know uh, those higher than carbon in reactivity series uh, can be extracted by using electrolysis, okay? Now this reactivity series is not the same. It is not the same as the electrochemical series uh, that you just learned uh, in previous lessons okay uh, it's not the same but it's similar uh, the difference is uh, hydrogen uh, okay in electrochemical series hydrogen is below lead but in a reactivity series uh, hydrogen is uh, between zinc and ions okay so this is the major difference uh, electrochemical series we don't have carbons Okay, there's no carbons in electrochemical series, but uh, in reactivity series, uh, there is carbon here. So if you have memorized electrochemical series, uh, then you should have no problem to memorize the reactivity series because just a little difference uh, between uh, electrochemical series and reactivity series. But you must memorize this uh, because only after you memorize it, then you will know which method is suitable to use to extract metals. Uh, or you can just memorize uh, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium. They are extracted by using 
electrolysis and 